Hello everybody, I hope you are fine. In this video, I'm going to show you how full collinearity assessment can be performed to address the issue of common method bias in PLS analysis. And in this slide, you can see the basic definition of common method bias. So CMB happens when variations in responses are caused by the instrument rather than the actual predispositions of the respondents that the instrument attempts to uncover. And basically, there are indications in PLS literature that CMB may not be a serious issue. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to show you how it is implemented in a smart PLS. And personally, I think given the disagreement about the relevancy of CMB in PLS analysis, I think it is a still a good idea to implement it in any of the softwares. And there are also two articles in this slide, as you can see, and basically these are the references for full collinearity assessment. And in this slide, again, you can see our basic mediation model, and I'm going to check for common method bias based on this model. Okay, now let me go to a smart PLS. All right, previously I specified this model in example one, so this is our model. Now I want to show you one of the amazing features of Smart PLS. Actually, whenever you specify a model in a Smart PLS, you will be able to duplicate it. Now, rather than specifying this model again for the purpose of CMB analysis, I just right click on this model and duplicate it. So I change the name to CMB. And now you can see that under the same project, I have another model which is exactly the same as the model that I specified in example one. In this past model, let me just switch here and you can see that both models are exactly the same. So I just close this and now here to run CMB based on full collinearity assessment, what I need to do is to delete the passes between the latent variables. Just select these passes and delete them. All right, now from the list of the variables, I need a dummy variable. So I just select gender and drag and drop it here. And the last step is that I have to connect all of the latent variables to this uh, dummy variable. So I just connect all of these latent variables to gender. And now if I run this model, All the statistics are generated here, and if I click on any of these uh, links, I will be able to see the information. But for right now, I'm just interested in VIF values, and particularly the VIF values related to inner model. So I click on this tab, and basically these values should be ideally less than 3.3, so that we can conclude that CMB is not a matter of concern in our analysis. And as you can see, these values are well below 3.3, which means that CMB is not a matter of concern in our analysis. So again, there is disagreement about the relevancy of CMB in PLS analysis, but since it is very easy to implement a full collinearity assessment in a smart PLS, I just demonstrated this technique for you in a smart PLS. Okay, I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.